everyone hope you guys are good welcome to um a vlog it's been a while it's been like what a week two weeks or something so welcome back um i have been uploading some shorts though like shorts recipes so check them out if you haven't done so already but anyway um you guys i've got some work going on in my house because i don't think i told you guys but there's a whole horror story going on in my toilet so i've got a toilet and then i've got a bathroom with a toilet there as well so the separate toilet the one in its own room bathroom whatever you want to call it is um completely damaged the toilet itself is fine but the floors um but the floors are um, discolored due to um, uh, water leakage. And then the skirting boards are all ripped up. Um, there's mold growing on the walls. It's absolutely horrific. So I'm gonna show you guys. So if you don't wanna see it, please turn away because stuff like this gives me the ick. So I don't watch stuff like this, but um, the work is finally being done because it's been a while since it's been like this and it's been, annoying the life out of me and i've had to put so much pressure on them to come and fix the issue so it's being done today apparently it's going to be a two-day job so today tomorrow hopefully they should be finished by tomorrow and um yeah i think that's pretty much it no 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 i'm gonna try and do some other things in this vlog of course i'm not gonna make it based on just my toilet but um let me show you guys what i'm talking about so please turn away if you don't like to see anything um, toilet related. But basically, um... hey guys, this is Future Me, and I'm just doing a voiceover because once I flipped the camera over, the sound became extremely muffled. Um, so basically, I was just describing the damages. The floor, as you can see, is all damp. It's discolored looks absolutely horrible and that's all because of the damage underneath and then you can see on the left hand side of the wall the mold that was growing and the discoloration absolutely horrible i first noticed this because the skirting boards as you can see were also coming off the wall as well and like i said this has been an ongoing issue so it took some time for them to finally come out and actually start the work so many people had come to have a look at it to try and see what the issue was we've had a plumber in here we've had an electrician in here we've had a surveyor in here and it's just been dragging on and dragging on so i was happy to finally get the work done because it was disgusting and as you can tell by the damages um it brings a smell which was really horrible so this door was always closed and we weren't able to use it so yeah that's that but i'm really excited to sort everything out and have this room back to normal so here's the current situation um they found the leakage which i'm thankful for because everyone else that has come out sorry to say has been absolutely useless and were not able to tackle the problem but they said it's a big leakage but thankfully it's something that can be fixed so they're going to do that first obviously to resolve the problem and then after that they will um, sort out the floor and everything else that's damaged at the moment they've ripped out the skirting boards if you're like me and stuff like this gives you the ick then please turn away because it looks really really nasty but that's what it looks like at the moment they've ripped out a little bit of the floor and yeah I can't wait for all of this to be done
on you today? Fine, thank you. Yeah, I'm okay, thanks. At least you want So you can see the color before I start to put down. Okay. Is it just you today? Okay. Okay. Um, the floor is officially ripped out now, all layers, and yeah, just waiting for them to bring in the new one. I think this needs to dry a bit because this is where the molding was. I mean, sorry, this is where the dampness was. So this needs to dry a bit. And then they're going to, um, I don't even know what they're going to do next, but they're going to do what they're going to do. The new floor is down, so they just need to put the skirting boards back. But what I was asking him, if you guys heard me, was if he's going to put another coat of paint over where the mold was growing up the wall because um it still looks nasty so he said he will obviously there's a special type of paint that they need to use to cover all of that stuff okay so this is it the toilet has been cleaned nice and clean and the floor is done everything is sorted out the issue with the whole leakage is all sorted out. Like I said, that was sorted prior to laying the new floor and everything. Otherwise, it would have messed it up again. But not only did he paint the sides that were damaged, but he actually ended up painting the whole um, room, which, hi, which I'm really happy about. So that's good. Um, now I can finally go ahead and add some small small decorations and minor transitions to this place i definitely do want to change the color so i will be most likely replacing that with black the toilet roll holder with black a new mirror because this mirror is just giving all sorts of basic and i don't like it and yeah but i like the floor it's different to this one but i chose this floor so i'm happy really really happy with it and yeah, I'm just happy that everything is finally sorted out. The smell's gone, the insects are gone, and the overall problem is gone. So everyone's happy. Obviously, you're looking at me but don't look at this current state I'm about to fix myself but um, today Saturday um, I'm going to a baby shower slash gender reveal which I'm really excited about so I'm gonna start getting ready now and then I'm gonna show you guys my finished look and then probably later on today or if not tomorrow I will show you guys the bathroom what it currently looks like now and um, I'm gonna try and get some bits and pieces and spruce it up in there as well because finally everything's fixed so I can make it look a little bit more attractive in there. But um, yeah, let me get ready because I want to be on time today and I will speak to you guys in a bit. Thank you. 
home now so tired i'm so so tired i'm gonna remove my makeup with you guys i was supposed to buy my clinique take the day off and i completely forgot so today i have to use wipes 
and just cleanser and toner and this and that and everything that I can possibly gather together to remove the makeup because my main key ingredient is finished and I've completely I completely forgot to order it earlier on in the week so that it can arrive just in time for today because I knew I wear makeup today so yeah but it was a really nice day evening afternoon proper proper nice day so much love so much joy so much enjoyment um it's a boy i'm so happy i predicted it I pred guys even when i went to go and buy i was telling francesca when i went to go and get her gift bag to put her presents in i bought blue i bought blue and one of the presents um you can get like initials engraved on it and stuff like that i put b for boy because i knew it was a boy like i just knew it i just knew you know obviously it's 50 50 is either a boy or girl but i just knew it was a boy and it was a boy and that's the reason why my hair looks the way it looks because i was screaming with so much happiness and enjoyment i mean if i was a girl i would have screamed either way but my hair sweated out the edges are no longer doing what it was supposed to do and the makeup is no longer doing what it was supposed to do either but the day is over so i'm not here i'm just happy that the happy couple are happy and everyone's happy and it's just such a joyous moment so yeah but anyway let me remove this whole situation and get comfortable and also i've got lots of questions about my hair as well like all i done i'm gonna film like a tutorial a separate tutorial but all i done was so i was initially gonna do the i was gonna do the middle and then two on either side situation but then i thought no why not bring it to one side and usually i don't really like side parts that much nowadays especially side parts that don't have like layers or more volume because the forehead just foreheads too much in a way that i don't like but today i just thought let me push it all to one side and just try something different and i really liked it so when i posted it on instagram i got quite a lot of dms so i'm i'm gonna see if i can film like a little tutorial situation Jaden don't want to be your friend Jaden, why she said you don't want to be her friend okay Jaden's your friend yeah i've removed it as much as i can but i just want to show you guys quickly this package that i received it's gifted by the way and it's from a brand called agora and what agora do is they send you a um box of beauty supplies amazing beauty supplies from fantastic brands you name it they have it and um basically they asked me to choose a box and i decided to go for this box which will basically sort of like brighten and purify the skin so in here i've got let me put the box down so in here i've got the bright me up serum by london botanical laboratories so i don't think i'm going to use this today because I've actually got quite a lot of serums that have been sent to me and I still haven't used any of them, but this should be interesting. Okay, and then I have this from Espa. This is the Optimal Skin Pro Moisturizer. Um, the moisturizer that I've currently been using for quite a while, actually, I've been using it for a while, is the Enriched Face Base by Bobbi Brown, which is good. And I think I mentioned before my channel that I started using it under my makeup, like to prep my skin and it was giving me all sorts of sweaty problems. But I took a break from it. I've gone back to it now and it's doing what it's supposed to do. So I've been loving that, but I'm really excited to try this one. I've never actually used anything from the Esper brand, but I heard their stuff is good. So I'm excited to try this. It's given aesthetics. It's given aesthetics. Love this. Um, Ooh. Oh, that smells nice. Okay, so I might use this today as my moisturizer. I've also got this from Nip and Fab Purify Powerful Booster packed with the skin rejuvenating benefits of 2% salicylic. 
some acid be anyway so again i'll start using this next week because as i said i've got quite a lot of products and then there's this one this is what i want to use today a vegan oat milk cleanser this is what i'm going to use to wash my face today it's 100 percent vegan active ingredients that impact skin not planet it's got aloe in it it's got coconut in it it's got oat in it it's got sorbic acid in it so i'm really excited to use this my lips have been drying up ashing up ripping up tearing up doing all sorts of things that it's not supposed to do and i keep my lips moisturized all the time so i don't know what kind of transition it's going through what type of diva it's trying to be but i'm excited to use this lip sleeping mask now usually i use the um estee Lauder night repair serum on my lips the, the lip version one but since i've run out i haven't bothered to buy a new one i don't know why but i haven't bothered to buy a new one so i'm really excited to use this one so mm, it's nice it smells like berry obviously you guys can't smell it but yeah and it comes with a little lip applicator as well which i most likely want actually no 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 i'm gonna use it i'm gonna use that too i'm gonna use that so I usually wash my face in the bath when I'm having the bath, but today I'm going to wash it here so that I can tell you guys. Actually, no, I'm going to wash it in the bath and then I'll tell you guys what this feels like. Okay, so this says to use massage a pee amount onto damp skin and wash thoroughly and the tube is actually made from sugar cane as well so this is very impressive so i'm just gonna wash damp just gonna wet, wet my face a little bit and then i'll apply it with you guys i did say i'll do it in a bath but i'll do it here okay sorry but i had to put a little bit more because that pea size was not doing anything for me i'm sorry i'm really really sorry Now, you guys are going to see a bit of makeup coming off because obviously the makeup was not removed with the proper tools. But I'm just gently massaging this into my face in circular motions. Okay, guys, I finished bathing. That's a nice bath, by the way. And um, my skin feels really good, you know. Sorry, the camera's not really picking up the glow of the skin looking quite dull in here so apologies for that that didn't help that didn't help that's not helping okay anyway it doesn't matter so um i'm actually going to use this if you guys remember this from a couple vlogs ago i got it from tk max it was originally 27 pounds and i got it for 14.99 and it's the Murad clarifying toner from that vlog, which was like beginning of October or something. I haven't actually used this, so I'm just going to apply some on a cotton pad over clean face, neck and chest. I'm not putting on my neck and chest, just my face. That thing that I just used the um the vegan facial cleanse thing i feel like because today i'm wearing makeup it didn't really remove and i want to make sure i'm removing everything so look look <sighs> ciao let me hurry up whilst I've got... Oh, here she comes. What? Mm. Now I know. I know good and well that the toner is supposed to clarify and tone 
and take away any remaining residue. But what? Both, this is too much. And I thoroughly washed my face. I even washed it again in the bath. Guys, sorry, I have to wash my face again. Sorry, one second, please. Okay, guys, I had to wash my face again because I could not believe what was coming off on that cotton pad. That poor little cotton pad experienced a whole new level of dirt, okay? So I had to wash my face again. And by the way, sorry, I ended up taking the bun out because, guys, I just wanted the freedom, you know? So I wanted it very, very loose, so I just took the bun out. But let's get back to skincare. So now I am going to use... See, I don't know if I should try the serum now. I'm not, I'm not going to use a serum tonight. No. Ooh, pineapple extract. Okay. Oh, I kind of want to use it, you know. Let's use it. Actually, no, 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 no. No, I'm not going to use it. I'm not going to use it tonight. I'll use it tomorrow. I'm just going to use a moisturizer. So the Optimal Skin Pro Moisturizer by Espa. Anyway, so let's use the Esper moisturizer because I'm really, really excited to use this. And plus, <sighs> aesthetics. So there's a little bit in the lid. I'm just going to take some. It's mm, quite a lot. Okay, that's enough. Yep. I'm just going to apply that onto my fingertips. And gently massage. Oh wow, that's a lot, you know. <laughs> Look at the smell. Depending on how these products go, I might do an updated skincare routine on my Instagram and TikTok, but that all depends on how this goes. Okay. I'm actually going to pack everything back in its box because I need to film a separate video for TikTok and Instagram anyway, where I'm unboxing these products. So I have to put them back in and unbox them again. But lastly, I'm now gonna go in with the Slip Sleeping Mask. This is what I'm excited to use, guys, because like I said, my lips have been doing some fuzz. That just does not make sense at all. Let me just wash my hands because I don't want to put any of the moisturizer that I just applied on my face onto my lips. And I'm not using the lip applicator for today. So one second. Okay, that's done. So now I'm just going to apply a little bit of this onto my lips. Okay, that's quite a lot. Oh, it smells so nice. Okay, done. Okay, so I think that's it. I'm just gonna tie a headscarf today, not this one. I'm gonna use my silk one because like I said, I wanna keep my hair in its format so that I can do the video that I said I'm gonna do, the tutorial situation, so. Yeah, but my skin feels okay. I know I just put the products on, but my skin does feel okay. I feel like it's looking a little bit dry, but it doesn't feel dry. So as long as it doesn't feel, so that should be fine. And my lips feel amazing. So I'm gonna hit the sheets now, which means I'm gonna end the vlog here because I don't know what tomorrow will hold. Actually, I do know it's my daughter's birthday on Monday, so I'm gonna go and get some party bags and some little bits and bobs to put in the goodie bags for the kids in her class on Monday. Um, so I don't know, I might vlog that, I might not vlog it. And then I need to do her hair because her hair's a mess anyway. So I don't want her to go, to go into school on Monday with a messy hair. But as you can hear, there's a lot of chaos going on in the back. It's getting closer, so I'm going to end the vlog here. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe, share this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!